about this really quick. I just want your quick twitch. It doesn't have to be well thought out. Dalvin Cook, almost 6,000. I think he's like seven yards from 6,000, but he had two seasons, 2017, 2018, due to injury. 300 yards and I think 600 yards or something in those seasons. Most likely would have been a 1,600-yard season and then a 1,200-yard season. So now that's 7,000, almost 8,000 yards in Dalvin Cook's career. 8,000 yards, and he would have still been under the number of games of Chuck Foreman, who is below him now. With seven. There's a 20-game difference between Dalvin Cook and Chuck Foreman. And again, different eras. Chuck Foreman was more of a, a, a dual threat running back before his time. We know that. Adrian Peterson at 12,000 yards. Robert Smith, he would have surpassed Robert Smith, who's right up there at 6,800 yards. If Dalvin Cook have not gotten hurt and been at 8,000 yards by now, 8,000 plus yards, and then he's probably going to still move on to another team, but he hits that 10,000, maybe 11,000 yard mark, would we, would we consider him a Hall of Famer? Because injury would not have been a question. I'll start with you, uh, Reggie. Yeah, I think I think he's well on his way there. Uh, I think Dalvin Cook does some very dynamic things, and he was drafted to be kind of like that bell cow. And it's just so interesting, like he had four straight seasons of eleven hundred yards, but the this last season was the only one that he played every game of his career. So you just wonder, like over the course of his career, if he's able to play even fourteen, fifteen, you know, games every year like how many more yards he would have because he was a very productive back in his time with the Vikings so I think yeah he's well on his way to being a Hall of Famer Luke yeah I agree with Reggie here a lot of this getting into the Hall of Fame discussion starts with longevity and then obviously you look at guys like Emmett Smith and Frank Gore they built their legacy off longevity 226 games for Emmett Frank Gore 241 games. Now, even if Dalvin Crazy. didn't reach that point, if he stayed on this same path and obviously was involved in the entire offense, maybe it's a running coach like Mike Zimmer used to be. Maybe it's involved in the passing game a little bit, but the production is there. As long as his talent didn't slip off, being 28 now, if he could put four, five, six more uh, good seasons that we know Dalvin Cook could be, certainly could be in that conversation, Ron. I agree. Luke. Or Sam. Uh, yeah, if he doesn't get hurt first two years, he probably has 1,000-yard seasons in 17 and 18. And then we're talking about a guy starting his career with six consecutive 1,000-yard seasons. Uh, he would probably be around 8,000 yards in his career now with a chance to get up to 10,000 by the time it's all said and done. Earl Campbell, that's a big name in NFL history. That's a Hall of Famer. He only had 5,000-yard seasons in his career, and he just started out really hot. Three rushing titles in his first three years. Only played eight years in the league. He's got 9,400 yards in his career, and he's a Hall of Famer. And that's kind of the, the bar that Dalvin would have to clear. It's going to be tough for him to clear it now, I think. But if he stayed healthy earlier in his career with those first two seasons when he had less wear and tear on the body at that point, man, think of the possibilities. That's funny you say that, Sam. I didn't even think about that. Earl Campbell to 9,000 yards. That's where Clinton Portis probably has his bones, where he's like, look, I'm, I'm one of the top 20 running backs in NFL history. I should be in the Hall of Fame. So I, I do see P was on our show, so I do understand where he goes with that. Uh, for me, with Dalvin Cook, I'm going to leave it as a, what is it, not uh, not complete or whatever, or incomplete. Sorry, that's the grade you get to yeah. get an I. I'm going to leave it as incomplete. Uh, it's one of those things where you just don't know because the voters. Uh, how does he take the rest of his career? Uh, if he had not gotten hurt, Maybe he leaves the Vikings sooner because the money, like, I mean, he maybe he wanted even more money. Maybe he wanted to be the top paid running back in NFL history. Who knows? But, I mean, it is what it is. Dalvin Cook, to me, I thought he was a Christian McCaffrey type running back where you could use him in numerous ways, and the Vikings never truly found a way to do it. They just had so many weapons. The defense was good. Um, honestly, that Eagles year, I think that was the time. Like, that would have been the perfect year to go to the Super Bowl in Minnesota, and they just couldn't get it done. Uh, so it'll always be a what if. What if Dalvin Cook never got hurt? Uh, and and you're right, Luke, longevity. I think that's going to always be the question with Dalvin Cook. Like, can he go to another team and maybe be a dual back with two other with one other back and then, you know, be able to make it 16 games or 17 games? Uh, because clearly just him was not the correct formula for him with shoulders and other things. So 